Hello and welcome to Astro DIY. In this video, I'm going to fix this switch which is just hanging in the drywall. It is so loose that I can even pull it out. Take a closer look. This means that the metal box has no support. There's no stud either on this side or on this side. Like maybe the person who installed this switch about 45 years ago, this is an old house, just wanted to keep the switch in the center of these two. But we have to fix it now because it's so dangerous. This is an important caution. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Working with electrical wiring or equipment can be dangerous and can cause serious injury if not handled properly. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. These are the tools that I usually keep in my electrical toolkit. Client tools, touchless voltage tester. Client tools, receptacle tester. A multi-bit screwdriver. A knife. A wire stripper. Needle nose plier. A plier. A flashlight. Electrical tape. And Black & Decker electric screwdriver which has a built-in light in it. The way I'm going to fix this switch is to use this J box which has two wings, one on upper side and one on the bottom side. What happens is that this goes into the drywall like this with its flaps or wings collapsed and these two parts, they stay on top of the drywall. After the box is inserted into the drywall, uh, we just tighten the screws and the flaps go up and this flap goes down like this and these two flaps they grip the drywall and tighten this box then we install the switch on top of this box but before I use this I would like to try it on a dummy drywall this is the cutout in the drywall and there is no support of any stud on the back side no stud on this side and no stud on this side insert the box with the wings fully collapsed on both sides and start tightening the screws one by one. As I tighten from front side, the wing from the inside, it keeps on tightening to the drywall. Take a look from this side. These two wings have gripped the drywall. Tighten the screws all the way in and then you cannot move the box. The switch will now be tightened into these two screws and then we will use the cover plate. This particular switch controls the lights on top of our dining table which is in the living room. Before proceeding, I will turn off the power from the circuit breaker and then open this box. The circuit breaker is off now. I can open this wall plate. Look at this. It's all out. With my Black & Decker electric screwdriver, I will open these two screws and pull out the switch. Confirm one more time that there is no power. Look at this. Whosoever installed this did not properly connect the ground wire. Remove the tape. Remove the wire nuts and keep the switch aside. We will use it again. Now removing the ground wire. There is a clamp here. I have to open it up so that I can pull out the wire from top. And then I will pull out the box. So I will hold the box with a needle nose plier so it doesn't fall down. The wire is now free in the box. I can pull it up and pull the box out. The old box. There were no screws. There were no nails because there is no stud. Take a look at this. There is no stud on this side and no stud on this side as well. 
the outlet box was just hanging in the drywall. I will now insert the box into the drywall but first I have to insert the wire into the box. For that I will break one of these two tabs. Just push it. Bring about five or six inches of wire. I have a lot of wire here so I can bring a little more. This much should be enough. So let me make this space even on both sides, up and down and left and right. And then I will try to insert the box. With the flaps collapsed, push the box into the driver. Might have to bang it a bit. Fully flushed to the wall. Now I will tighten these two screws. I can feel that the wing has got a grip on the drywall. Perfect. Cut a bit more wire sheathing. Fourteen gauge wire. Having a fresh copper wire helps in better connection. Ground wire first. Before I remove these connections, I made a note of the wire colors. I was careful to note down that black wire is connected to red, this red, and white wire is connected to the black. So accordingly, I will connect them back. Two or three wraps of black tape always helps. Push the wire gently back into the box. Just make sure it is straight. Cover plate is next. We never over tighten these cover plates. Sometimes they break. But for now, the switch is perfectly fit. It doesn't, it's not loose in the drywall at all. Good job. This part is done. The switch is not loose in the drywall anymore. I will now go down and turn on the circuit breaker to check that I did not make any mistakes in the connection. The circuit breaker is on. Correct. That means I did not make any mistake in connections. The project is complete. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel.